Alrighty, hello everybody. Uh, here's a small subsect of Night in the Woods called The Longest Night. Just a little extra mini thing. Figure we can start this alongside the game. Just to see, you know, something else. Um, I don't know what to expect. They said it was the sub piece whenever they did their Kickstarter. And just a little playthrough demo. See what's up. Why aren't I cold? Fire, we have a fire, man. Yeah, we breached that level of the civilization, huh? Oh. I'm bored. Feels like we've been here forever. Oh, we shouldn't do the longest night constellation thing. Wow, really? I haven't done that since I was like six. No one has done that since they were like six. Well, I don't remember being six. Really? Really? Yeah, I don't remember much before like eight and a half. That's very specific. B is a synthetic life form created at the age 8.5. That makes so much more sense. Beep, boop, B. One, one, zero, one, okay. I'm done with everything I'm done. Can we just do this thing? None of us knows enough about the constellation to even do it, B. Yeah, B. I do. Since when? Uh, since always. Now that was stuffed up, he's ready to go to school. Space school. I can't see anything. <laughs> we're we're pattern finders. Find some patterns. Can I just use my mouse? Yes, I can. Ah, so you gotta go by pitch. Think. How about up head of the psychic order angels? Yeah, uh, this one. My mom always said I looked like this one. I can see it. Uh, I sure can't. Wrong voice. Meeting so many cranky angels. Mm. Grouching hard. Mm. Across the sky. Okay. Moving on. That's a whale. Uh, buddy, Mundy, the world fish. Back then they thought whales were fish. And, and, and you know what was going on one? Um, Mundy is my sign. Oh, oh god. Of course it is. Hey, what does that mean? Um, well, if any of this meant anything, then it might mean something. But it doesn't, so... It doesn't. Um, whoom. Um, whoom. What are you doing? Whale noises. Oh, just a very basic. Oh, it's the all seeing eye. <laughs> Excuse me. Tolmet. Uh, Tolmetron. It rings at the end of the world. And Mundy shakes everything off her back. So we're living on a giant whale, man. That's some cool shit, man. And I think, oh, it all catches fire, too. Ooh, like the bonfire here on screen. It's crazy. Ugh. It all made sense back then. Back when people were, like, wicked dumb. You know what I mean? to sound like a jerk, but people were super dumb back then. It's all relative. And full of dumb people. Beautiful dumb people. Guitar. 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 Oh, it's just a fish. Ooh, a fish. And... Just a fish. Pretty, uh... Pretty, uh, self-explanatory. Hmm. Fun fact, fish is my side. <laughs> I think that means you're a failure in all things. <laughs> I think it means you're adaptable and smelly. We're gonna go with I think you're adaptable and smelly. That's that's just a nice way. I got one of those right, huh, Captain? Oh, got a manly musk going on here. You smell like that stuff I got you. Finally. Ice hawk. It has a picture of an ice hawk on it. I smell quite masculine. Thank you. Thank you very much. Like an ice hawk. I think you smell... I think you smell nice, Angus. Thanks. What's an ice hawk? 
Wouldn't you like to know? Oh, can I just can I, can I? There we go. I'm missing something up there. Um, can can no no executed by somewhere some cake somewhere. Her head continued to speak against her murderers for years. That's pretty sweet. Oh, you think that, right? But in the story, she's portrayed as annoying. Like, she was being a martyr. About literally being martyred. They eventually put her head in a trunk and threw it in a river. Jeez. What did she do? She was dead already, so... Oh, I thought they were talking about her head being in a... In the case. No, oh, she, uh, she talked out loud in public. Oh, that's all? Uh, that was enough, apparently. Supposedly, if you put your head underwater in some, in some river in Italy, she'll tell you about her murder. They renamed it River of Guilt. But not like the guilt for murders. She's giving you a guilt trip or something stupid. The constellation is garbage. Shut <laughs> <laughs> my head off. I'll bite yours off. Happy longest night, everyone. Movie God. There we go. In Edvard Invenerus, the inventor of music. Mm, nice beak. Reminds me of Gurm. Yeah. <laughs> Gurm isn't even musical, like, at all. Who? Gurm? What? Gurm? Gurm? That, that hangs out, Gurm? Where's Gurm? Doing God only knows with whatever weird family he has. I imagine him secretly being some kind of wizard or something. It was assumed baffling form. I have no idea who you're talking about. Oh no, Maya's space sickness. Took away her memory. Eject her from the ejector from the airlock. Seriously, May, he's Garm. You you know Garm. Wait, are we even in space? Why aren't I cold? You you said earlier you're cold. A little Pac-Man thing. Lucio. Oh yeah. Who? What? Lucio the fox. Scourge of the French countryside. Yeah, totally French, totally Scourge. What does he have a spear through for? The candle that burns twice as bright spreads through the whole cats. Yep. Beautiful. You can see why this is what's so popular. Oh, that's cute. Everybody knows, little king. He was uh, a king who was little. <laughs> I don't know do anything about this one. Apparently a little king was big news back then. I don't think he was even supposed to be all that small. Stop the presses. So there's this king, right? But get this, he's like slightly smaller than you'd expect, you know. He wears small shoes. Let's immortalize him in the night sky. I'm kind of short. May Borowski, Constellation. Nah. Everyone who picked the constellations is dead now. Oh, it's like little wings. The Mice Raiders, inventors of written language. Aren't there like, supposed to be thousands of them? Listen, there's like so much Night Sky. Mice Raiders are my sign. I think that means you're thousands of geniuses. I think that means you're screwed. What? Mice are nature's snack kick. If you follow the food chain all the way down. You will find mice. I'm sorry, Gregory, but your days are numbered. <laughs> no way, man. I'm forever. Ah, the Gregorian chance. Lots of goat, dude. Ebud, the singer. Ever see the opera based on this? You? Uh oh, it's brilliant. It's like 21 hours long. Jeez, man. And like 100 years ago, when it was playing in Bright Arbor. The stage exploded during the part where Yvonne crashes his balloon into the world worm. Sweet! Was anyone killed? Like, a lot of people, man. Oh. Listen, if you can't laugh at that, I have bad news about the rest of history. Yeah. Hmm. Corvid the thief. Stole the diamond from the crowd of Romello, the fire-breathing pope. Got arrowed to death like 200 feet from the palace. So he gets to be didn't get to be a constellation from being a great thief then. He did not. Screw the man. Steal their diamonds. Ah yes. The revolutionary zeal of kids from the suburbs. 
Possum Springs is in the suburbs. Yeah, you do a city to have suburbs. We're in the dead center of nowhere. It's like a 40 minute drive if you want to buy shoes. Also, I'm 21. I'm not, I'm not a kid, I think. I think, I th I think you, you're younger than me. I'm 21 too. We both have full-time jobs. Well, as close to the full-time as they can get, you know. <laughs> Before they give us started, you're giving us health insurance. I'll be like 20 in four months. Okay, fine. You're all very serious adults. Thank you. I, I try to be. I, I wear these glasses and I, I push them up my face and I put my hands in my pockets like a cool guy. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Oh, that's simple enough. The broken snake, the first thing that talked. This story has always made me annoyed. I was totally the kid in Sunday school who pitched a fit over the story. Oh my god, I remember that. You got sent out to adult church to sit with your parents. No punch cookies for me. Well, I certainly missed out on all that. Oh, dude, you didn't even. Ah, oh, Pope Bird. Rebello. Pope. Sometime in the 1400s. Crazy times. Oh, God, I love this one. There were two rival popes. And Rubello won by opening his mouth. And consuming them with fire. 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 And then he ate them. What? More. I knew that one. That is amazing. A bit historically, it's his extended family poisoned wood, it stabbed the other before throwing him in a canal, and, uh, did he eat them? Uh, he did, yes, he did eat them, yes, indeed, yes. Is that the raddest thing I've ever heard? Chomp, chomp, whoops, ah, I eat you now, I'm the Pope, ha ha. Woo! Spinny bits, I figured out. Well, that's all, uh, 13 of them. <laughs> Yay. Thanks, Angus. That was pretty great. You're a big old nerd, Captain. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> you should be a professor. Oh, I'd like, to, I'd like to fill that role at the video store. Well, I should probably get home. Wait! I just realized that I haven't hung out with you in years, B. What? Yeah, not since, like, the seventh grade. We had a huge fight when we were twelve. I remember it more like you stopped sitting with me at lunch, or returning my phone calls, or responding to my messages. Always with Greg. Too cool for me. Sorry, B. Didn't mean to be French and Blacker. Yeah, it's cool, Greg. It was ages ago. Yeah. Wait, are we actually in space? Ugh. But I'm warm and breathing. What am I sitting on? Tyrannosaurus pattern. What? Oh god, I haven't seen Greg or Angus for a year and a half. Regret and emptiness. I didn't go home for the longest night. Laundry day. Apple juice tastes from when you threw up earlier. You have to call home. You don't want to call home? It's too late to take the bus. What made you think of me today? You didn't want to take the bus. This is your new life. Is it still new after your nap? I'd wear and adjust. Next year will be new again. Next year will be new again. Leg stretch. Oh, come on, this is getting stupid. And I, and am I seriously? Well, home's not gonna call itself. Prequel? Well, that was a short little demo into what we're gonna experience in game. So, um, this is coming out just after my first episode. I stumbled across it and. You know, I thought I'd record it real quick before I get off for sure. So I'm probably going to release that first. No, I'll release it after. Maybe I'll do it after series. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But that was the longest night. Got to give a little backstory some some of our characters. I even got a new voice for our little bear nerd friend. So you'll be hearing that in the parts upcoming. If it's not out before or after, I don't know what I'm doing yet. But anyway, thank you for so much, Mark. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video and the content, again, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you for doing so. Share with your friends if you like the content and want to spread it to others. We like to grow here. Anyway, that's all for this one. We'll get back to more Night in the Woods later. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Lobster Bits out.